Hi everyone, this is Precious and welcome to my presentation. For today's lesson, we are going to learn about what Dyxis is. According to Cambridge Dictionary, Dyxis is the use of a word or phrase whose meaning depends on who is talking, who they are talking to, and where they are. Say for example, yesterday, me, and here. Dyxis also came from the Greek adverb dyktikos, meaning pointing or indicating. Thus, dyxis is a process of pointing via language. The linguistic forms we use to accomplish this pointing is called dyctic expression. But what is dyctic expression? Dyctic expression or dyxis is a word or phrase that points to the time, place, or situation in which a speaker is speaking. Dyxis concerns on the interpretation of utterances such as who is speaking, the time or place of speaking, the gestures of the speaker, and even the current location in the discourse. As you can see from this illustration, we have here two people. It consists of the speaker A and speaker B, which is the central person. The central place is the speaker's location and the central time is the time when the speaker produces a particular utterance. And here, the central discourse element is the one containing the speaker's utterance. So let us associate these elements of short dialogue to these labels. We have the person. And examples of person are you, I, and me. We have the time before then. We also have place which is here and of course this course before so that is how we analyze a certain discourse so remember that the meaning of didactic expression can be understood only in terms of speakers intended meanings when we indicate something we use expressions these expressions are called indexicals words like here, these, then, now, I, we, here, and them are an example of indexical. These expressions require an addressee to be able to pick out a person, place, or time relevant in understanding how the words refer. So this is called didactic, didactic reference. As you can see in these examples, the yellow colored words are didactic expressions or indexical such as it, this, and the. So let me give you another example. If you would ask a visiting exchange student and ask him this question, have you been in this country long? The words this country and you are the didactic expressions as they refer to the country where the conversation happens and the person being addressed in the conversation respectively. Didactic expressions usually fall under three categories. It can be used to point to a person via person dyxis, say for example, me and you, or to a location via spatial dyxis, here or there, or to time via temporal dyxis, now, then, or tonight. Any expression used to point a person is called person dyxis. So let's look for the examples of person dyxis. Okay, from here you can see I, you, he, she, and me, or even him and them. So these are all pronouns. So person dyxis concerns the persons involved in an utterance, such as the persons directly involved. The example of this is the speaker and the address. The persons not directly involved, such as those who hear the utterance but are not being directly addressed. And we also have the last, which is the persons mentioned in the utterance. So examples of person dyxis. Number one, I am going to have the dinner. I is a person dyxis. And would you like to have dinner? So you is the person dyxis in this example. So place dyxis is called a spatial dyxis. It is usually expressed in these, these, there, here, that, and those. So examples of place dyxis, I enjoy living in this city. 
here is where we met last month and she was sitting over there so the red birds are the one which are the examples of place to exist next we have the time to exist time to exist concerns itself with the various times involved in and referred to in an address so here are the examples of time to exist we have tonight last week yesterday before after now then soon and so forth and also different tenses so what is encoding time and decoding time a renowned linguistic Fillmore explains that in case of time dixis, the time adverbs can be used relative to the time when an utterance is made, and Fillmore calls this time as the encoding time or ET. On the contrary, he calls the time when the utterance is heard as the decoding time or DT. While these are frequently the same time, they can differ as in case of pre-recorded podcast or correspondence. So moreover, when a teacher says, I am going to start a new chapter. It is an example of ET. When a teacher conveys a written message by writing on the whiteboard, I will be back in an hour, he is referring to the decoding time or DT. Our last element, which is called discourse diaxis. So, discourse diaxis is also called text diaxis. It refers to the use of expression within an address. It is used in conversation and in discourse practices. So when dixis is used for rhetoric purposes, that is called discourse dixis. So here are some examples of discourse dixis. Remember that the relationship between utterance and the prior discourse are called discourse dixis. And so all these words make reference to a statement or sentences that was said. In the last section, we discuss conversational implicature. In this section, we consider conversational implicature and etc. So the yellow colored words or phrases are what we call discourse dices. And also the same with another example. As already mentioned, the three main branches of the legal profession in England are solicitators and etc. So the yellow part, which is the as already mentioned, is also an example of a discourse dixis. At this point, let us identify the dictic element in this sentence. So we have the sentence, you should have been here last week. You is the personal dixis, of course, and we have here which is the spatial dixis and last week, the temporal dixis. So, where's the discourse dixis? Remember, I said at this point. That's, that is discourse dixis. I hope you learned something from my presentation for today. That is all. So, teachers, educators, let not your passion for teaching girls with innovate. Create and educate. For more information about taxes, you can click the links I provided below. This is me, Precious, and have a good day.